After we install the app from Google Play, we'll switch to the Monica CRM web UI. And in Settings, API, we'll find the Personal Access Token section and tap Create New Token. We have to give the token a name, the name doesn't matter. Then tap the Create button. Then copy and paste the token, or copy the token, to your clipboard. And then switch back to see whether the app has been installed from Google Play. Tap Open. Now we'll go to the Server Login Settings page. I'm using a self-hosted version of Monica CRM, so I have to put in my server name here. And then we paste the token. When we pasted the token and updated the server name, we tap Save. Now we can start adding contacts. When we add contacts and tap the Save button, the screen updates immediately and the contact is sent to Monica CRM in the background. So we can immediately start adding another contact if we want. So here we've added one, now we're adding another. We don't have to wait for that, that contact and that note to be saved in Monica CRM. So right now we're doing this all in online, online mode. So the contacts get saved immediately when we tap save. Okay, so now let's flip back to the dashboard to see whether our new contacts from the app have actually been saved in Monica. Okay, we can see Harry Potter has been saved. Let's find the note. Oh, here we go. Let's check for the other contact. Yep, John Smith has also been saved. And again, we can see the note we just typed in. Usually in Monica, adding a contact and adding a note takes two separate steps. You have to fill in two separate forms. Now we're going to test the offline functionality. So let's say you're underground with bad internet connectivity or you're on a plane. So before I tap save, I'm going to put the phone into airplane mode. But still, the screen returns straight away. And if I go into pending, I can see that contact is in the list. I'll add another one before I try to upload. Okay, so you can see there are two items in the pending list. When I tap the Upload All Immediately button, it takes one of the items, tries to upload it, and does that with, with each of them. After waiting a few seconds, we'll see that nothing has changed in the list. Those two contacts are still there because they weren't uploaded successfully. Now we'll flip out of airplane mode, and we'll try that again. This time the contacts don't reappear in the list, which seems to suggest that they've been uploaded okay. So we'll refresh our Monica dashboard and check that they have. And you can see there's two new contacts that have been added since we last refreshed that screen. Again, we can see the name and we can see the note. And that's all.